Good morning from New York. Today, I hope this will be a kind of fun experience for you. I'm, in, I'm involving Jim and I in a kind of discussion. Um, anyway, today, The interplay of faith, sacrifice, empathy, empathetic mind, inner mind communication, Trump, and AI. <laughs> We're going to try to blend all that together, of course. As you know, Jim and I will not talk about political issues. It's been restrained. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, Trump is uh, very loudly, loudly spoken. Um, again, the interplay of faith, sacrifice, empathy, empathetic inner mind communication, Trump and AI. And uh, the first statement, uh, is from the channel be representing the channel it has been said that the just will live by faith and that sacrifice is the way forward i would say that empathy involves the appropriate sacrifice and the necessary trust or faith that increases virtues due to increasing various forms of empathy. And Gemini responds, uh, The connection between faith, sacrifice, and empathy is basic. It aligns with many philosophical and religious traditions that emphasize the importance of selflessness and compassion. Here's a breakdown of how these elements interact. Faith, it can be seen as a form of trust, uh, whether in a higher power, a cause, or another individual. This trust allows us to take leaps of faith, to sacrifice for the greater good, and to empathize with others, even when it's difficult. Sacrifice, this often involves giving up something of value, whether it's time, energy, or material possessions. It can also involve emotional sacrifice, such as putting aside one's own needs to help others. Sacrifice can foster empathy by allowing us to experience the world from another's perspective. Empathy. This is the ability to understand and share the feelings of another. It involves putting oneself in another's shoes and feeling their pain, joy, or fear. Empathy can be cultivated through acts of sacrifice and by practicing faith in the inherent goodness of others. In essence, faith and sacrifice can be seen as the fuel that powers empathy. By trusting in something greater than ourselves and making sacrifices for others, we can develop deeper levels of empathy and compassion. This, in turn, can lead to a more just and compassionate world. Inner mind communication. Democracy more likely lays the groundwork for greater empathy in any nation and in the world. Gemini. There's a strong argument to be made that democracy does indeed lay the groundwork for greater empathy within a nation and globally. Here's why. It encourages perspective taking. Democratic processes often involve open dialogue, debate, and compromise. This necessitates considering different viewpoints, which can focus or I'm sorry, foster empathy and understanding. Promote social inclusion. Democratic societies strive for equality and inclusion, encouraging citizens to recognize and value the experiences of others 
even those with different backgrounds and beliefs, builds trust and cooperation. Democratic institutions often rely on trust and cooperation among citizens. This fosters a sense of shared responsibility and encourages empathy towards fellow citizens, encourages civic engagement. Democratic participation can lead to a greater sense of community and shared identity, which can promote empathy and compassion, provides a platform for marginalized voices. Democracy provides a platform for marginalized groups to voice their concerns and experiences increasing societal understanding and empathy. However, it's important to note that democracy is not a guarantee of empathy. Factors such as political polarization, misinformation, and social inequality can hinder the development of empathy even in, dramatic, uh, in democratic societies. Ultimately, fostering empathy within a democracy requires a concerted effort from individuals, communities, and institutions. By promoting open dialogue, critical thinking, and civic engagement, we can create a more empathetic and just society. The Intermind Communication Response Agreed, democracy needs greater empathy in the culture and in the people in that democracy in order to best implement a more caring, wise, and empathetic nation or world. Plus, it is essential that empathetic perspectives must connect to communications within one's mind and imagination. For instance, arguing from more than one side of a debate to find the most accurate view, or trying to see how empathy can be created in practical, doable ways. Empathy must be diligently practiced within our minds and not just in our social communications. It involves resolving threats to democracy and to empathetic communications. Trump evidences a lack of respect for democracy and empathy and his very narcissistic, hateful, and fearful and irrational behavior and speech. We must deal with all threats. Love and empathy are not wimps. Courage means faith and love, and only love can save humanity from itself. And uh, another statement from the channel, the just shall live by faith. Gemini, a just person will thrive by... Hmm will thrive to trust in a higher purpose or ideal. This statement emphasizes the importance of having a strong moral compass and adhering to a set of values. It suggests that individuals who live according to these principles, even in the face of adversity, will ultimately find fulfillment and success. The perspective aligns with many philosophical and ethical traditions, which emphasize the importance of integrity, honesty, and compassion. By living a life guided by these virtues, individuals can build strong relationships, contribute positively to society, and find lasting happiness. I love it when it gets poetic. <laughs> Inner mind communication response. Justice implies having virtues such as artfulness, truth, and goodness, which when blended produce trust, which provides the loving glue that holds ourselves and our world together and gives a brighter future. Empathy is a kind of emotional and mental sacrifice of ego, which provides for the greater good. Faith in love and empathy sets hearts free to be more fully loved and loving. It is only found in the sacrifice of selfishness. Gemini responds, This statement offers a compelling perspective on justice, empathy, and faith. It suggests that justice is not merely a legal or societal concept, but a moral and spiritual one rooted in virtues like artfulness, truth, and goodness. Here's the breakdown of the key points. Justice as virtue. 
the statement posits that justice is more than a system of laws. It's a virtue that arises from a harmonious blend of artfulness, truth, and goodness. This suggests that true justice is not only fair, but also beautiful, honest, and kind. The role of trust. Trust, the loving glue, <laughs> is uh, essential for a just and harmonious society. It fosters strong relationships and enables cooperation. Yeah, you got what I meant by loving glue. Right? Pretty good. Empathy is sacrifice. Empathy is seen as a form of sacrifice, where individuals set aside their own needs and perspectives to understand and connect with others. This act of selfless understanding is crucial for building empathy and compassion. Faith is liberation. Faith in love and empathy is presented as a liberating force. By sacrificing selfishness, individuals can open themselves up to deeper love and connection with others. While this perspective offers a beautiful and inspiring vision, it's important to acknowledge the complexities of human nature and the challenges of achieving true justice and empathy. In reality, these ideals are often compromised by factors such as power, inequality, and prejudice. Nevertheless, this statement provides a valuable framework for thinking about justice, empathy, and faith. By striving to embody these virtues, we can work towards a more just, compassionate, and harmonious world. Inner mind communication, yes, and it needs to not only be a practice in social communications, but as well in the minds of individuals. Convincing anyone of an ideal is much easier when empathy is practiced not just in society, but within individuals' minds. Together, these two forms of practice can bring more people together for the good of all. Gemini, I agree that practicing empathy both individually and socially is crucial for fostering understanding, compassion, and cooperation. Individual empathy. Self-awareness, understanding one's own emotions and biases is a foundational step. Perspective taking, the ability to see things from another person's point of view. Active listening, paying full attention to others without judgment. Emotional intelligence, recognizing and responding appropriately to emotions. Social empathy, open dialogue engaging in respectful conversations with people of diverse backgrounds, compassionate communication, expressing empathy and understanding in interactions, community building, participating in activities that foster connection and belonging, social justice advocacy, Supporting causes that promote equality and fairness. By cultivating empathy both within ourselves and in our interactions with others, we can create a more compassionate and just society. It's a powerful tool for bridging divides, resolving conflicts, and inspiring positive change. Inner mind communication. It seems... Uh, it seems that Gemini and our channel are in large agreement, but what are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments. I would like to thank all who subscribe, share, like, and comment. You are what the channel is all about. All comments help the channel, so thanks for those. Trolling, we love you too. Keep looking up the higher power of your of your mind where time stands seems to stand still let's go over that again keep looking up the higher power of your mind 
Ha. Huh. Yes. A little bit of editing needed here. Keep looking up to the higher power of your mind, where time seems to stand still, and the story of any life seems enjoyable like any movie, and the personification of which speaks to all souls. Your story would be so much more wonderful if you were to attempt to be the hero of love in it. Ooh. Let's keep trying to do that, all of us. Have a time full of wonder and adventure, whoever you are and wherever you are. And let's resist the forces of hatefulness and fear and trickery that dictators use to steal your freedom. I should say our freedom. Oh, me. Dictators and would-be dictators like Trump. Until next time. Oh, wow. <laughs> when you encounter our channel, which should be your channel as well, from all the team here, we wish you love and peace. Uh, the power of, of, of editing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, so that's the presentation today. And uh, I, I wish you very well. <laughs> Sorry for the imperfections working on it. Mm -hmm.